uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also so guys uh, you can see on screen in this video i will be talking about you know how to fix server error which is uh, 4.1.2 unauthorized access is denied due to invalid credentials uh, like uh, you are getting this kind of error and uh, this kind of error two errors i have shown here and uh, let me show you what i'm trying to see uh, say for example i have one client computer and, and i deployed one website okay and i'm trying to access this website so i'm not able to access that website and i'm getting this kind of error on my client computer and if i try to access the same website on my server so i'm not i mean it is not working for me it is coming unauthorized so what is the reason so guys here to troubleshoot it with it, it very simple this page itself giving you lots of information like you know no authentication protocol is selected in iis so this is the basic thing you can see it it is it is going to be authentication kind of uh, error okay from there we can troubleshoot second thing if you look at detail error information it is telling you authentication request we are giving a uh, authentication request from here but it is not happening that is the reason why we are not able to access the website and the second thing when we create website and this is uh, default website here okay if you go to the property you can say this is this is the property of this website so we get two option one is authentication one is authorization option authorization rules so if we go to authentication we get four, uh, basically there will be two only by default enable one is anonymous authentication second one is asp.net impersonation okay so by default this uh, anonymous authentication will be enabled so if it is enabled then we can access the website without an, without any issue and we can disable this and we can enable basic authentication basic basic authentication is little bit more secure as compared to anonymous authentication and apart from this windows authentication is more secure as compared to basic i mean uh, this is if this is good this is better this, this is best okay so i have how to enable this i have already spoken about so here if we go to this side we should check this whether it is enabled or not so this is authentication so as you can see here this anonymous is disabled all four is uh, the status of all four authentication methods are disabled that is the reason why we are not able to access that website so now if you enable this from here and try to access this website you will be able to access so as you can see here you are able to access if you go to this also just refresh it is opening now if you disable once again just for confirmation just for confirmation i'm showing you disable it and once again try to access that website so again it will show you the same error so very simple guys you you can check this authentication from here and uh, and fix this error i i hope this is uh, not a very big i mean problem or big challenge or any any fancy thing in this very simple just look at authentication whether it is enabled or not and fix the error and uh, this is what guys i tried to show you in this video i hope this is informative and uh, please don't forget to subscribe channel comment like and share this video if you feel it is informative and next video i'll be talking about uh, some other troubleshooting some other errors so till then bye bye thanks for watching for this video